Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Smitha. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you this look for Karva Chauth, which is coming up pretty soon. It's a very easy look to pull off, but still looks so glamorous. This video is in collaboration with the beautiful makeup by Esmere. She does amazing work and she's also created this beautiful Karva Chauth look. I'm going to link that video in the description box below. So don't forget to check her out. And without further ado, let's get this started. Using the RL Medium Brown Pomade, I'm going to start filling in my eyebrows using my favorite angled brush. Ever since I got this brush from Hip Dot, I've just been using this because the bristles are so fine and it's such a thin brush so the strokes come out just like hair. And then using some Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in Sand Sable, I'm going to start cleaning up the borders of my eyebrows using the e.l.f. concealer brush. And then I'm going to use a concealer on my lids to even out my skin tone. And then I'm going to set it with some NYC Loose Powder just so the concealer doesn't crease before I apply any eyeshadows over it. Now that we're set with the brows and the lids, let's move on to the eye makeup. First to highlight my brow bones, I'm using the Mineral Glow Pearls from Physicians Formula. I'm going to be creating this foiled gold halo eye look. So first I'm taking Cairo from the Juvia's Place Masquerade Palette, which by the way I haven't used in a while. I'm taking this with the Sigma E40 Super Fine Blending Brush and I'm going to use this in the outer corner in a corner and then I'm going to join both the corners through the crease and blend it out so it looks really soft. Next I'm going to be taking a darker shade with a smaller brush and I'm going to be repeating the previous step. I'm taking Ada with this pencil brush from Coastal Sense and I'm going to use this to intensify the outer corner, inner corner and join the two corners through the crease. To add more depth to the corners, I'm taking an even darker shade. This is Fulani. With a smaller pencil brush, I'm going to be dabbing this in the outer and inner corners. And then I'm going to take my Sigma E40, the larger blending brush, one more time to blend out everything and to soften everything up. For the center of the lid, I need a gold shadow and although the Masquerade palette has a beautiful gold, I was looking for something different. So I'm going to be using the Visionary palette by Pure Cosmetics. I'm going to use some setting spray on my finger and then I'm going to apply Innovator directly to the center of the lid. And look at the pigment payoff, it almost looks like a foiled gold eyeshadow. It's beautiful. So anytime you want that pigment payoff, use a setting spray either on your brush or even better on your finger and then apply the shimmer eyeshadow. To prime my face, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Poreless Primer. I'm going to give myself a good massage with this and use a little bit extra in areas where my face is dry. And don't skip your lips. Never forget to prime your lips with some lip balm. Let it soak in before it's time to apply the lipstick. For foundation, I'm going with the Fit Me by Maybelline Dewy Plus Smooth in Sandy Beige. I'm taking a couple drops on my beauty sponge and I'm going to dab this all over my face. This one is great for dry skin. They also have an equivalent for oily skin. That's the Matte Plus Poreless and this gives you a light to medium coverage. To conceal uneven tones and to highlight the high planes of my face, I'm going back to my Instant Age Rewind Concealer from Maybelline in Sand Sable and I'm going to be dotting it on the high planes and I'm going to blend everything out again with a damp beauty sponge. And to cream contour, I'm using the Wet n Wild Contour Stick in Call Me Maple. If you cannot find this product, you can use any cream contour that's a couple shades darker than your skin tone. That should work. And again, I'm going to blend everything out with a damp beauty sponge. Thank you. 
And now to set and seal my entire face, I'm using a press powder. This is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Powder in the shade 11, which is Honey. Before I jump back to do my eye makeup, I'm going to use some loose powder underneath my eyes so it's easy to catch any fallouts. First, I'm taking Cairo with a small shader brush and I'm going to be using this in the outer and inner corners. Now to deepen the corners, I'm going to be using Fulani again with the same brush, applying it in the outer and innermost corners. And for the center, I'm going with Innovator. Pretty much everything that I did on my lids, I'm just mimicking the same thing in my lower lash line. Using the Mineral Glow Pearls again from Physicians Formula, I'm going to use it to highlight my inner corners. To tightline my waterline, I'm using my favorite Jordana Easy Liner in black. It's a great combination of being waterproof and it's one of the blackest of the black eye pencils. I can wear it the entire day and it still looks awesome and it's smudge proof so that's really important for me. For eyeliner, I'm using the NYX Waterproof Matte Black Eyeliner. I'm not doing anything too exaggerated, I'm just going to go with a small wing and a very delicate thin line. And then I'm going to prep my lashes for falsies by curling it and applying a coat of mascara. I'm using the Wet n Wild lash o -Matic Mascara. And for lashes, I'm going with Ardell 204s. I believe these are double ups. I'm using the NYX eyeliner one more time just to conceal the lash band. And then finishing up with a coat of mascara to my lower lashes. I'm adding a light sun-kissed vibe to my face using the butter bronzer in light bronze. And for blush, I'm going with Milani in Romantic Rose. For a subtle glow, I'm going with the Physicians Formula Mineral Glow Pearls again and I'm going to be applying this on the high planes of my face. Anytime you apply a highlighter with the brush, don't forget to dab it slowly with your finger. The warmth in your finger almost melts the powders and it looks more natural. You can definitely do a nude lip, but I personally prefer red lips during the festive season and especially for Karvachot. So I'm going with the Wet n Wild Cat's Feet Matte Lipstick in Missy and Fierce. To complete this look, I'm going with this beautiful red stone bindi and some stunning jewelry from Jewelry by Japnor. I'm going to link her information also in the description box below for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this look and this video. Don't forget to thumbs up and comment below and let me know your thoughts. If you plan to recreate, don't forget to tag me. I've listed all my social media information in the description box below, along with all the products that I used today for the tutorial. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon with another tutorial. Bye guys.